Welcome to the Invasion Session 4, Part 2. It is the 6th of May, 2020. I am Ryan, GM. Here are the players. Hi there, my name is Gregor. I am playing Adair, a Air Genasi, who is a bit of a rogue. Hi, I'm Alvin, who's getting played by Scott. <laughs> um, Alvin is a gnome artificer. <laughs> Hi, I'm Calm M. I'm playing Cognac the Turtle, Turtle Turtle, who might be a barbarian. Good evening, I'm Alexander, and tonight I'll be playing Fleabite the Skaven, who's still pretty terrible at everything. Hello, I'm Ewan, and I'll be playing Lyuda, uh, the Loxodon Druid. Greetings. I am Calum B. And I will be playing Thea, the Priestess of Chaos. Excellent. I like the commitment to the bit. It's good. Very you just good. you just have to. Yeah, hundred percent. Even if it's a downward spiral, you just got to go for it. Those are the best spirals. It's a good album. Yes. <laughs> what? Those are the best spirals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the Draco? Yeah, <laughs> in another game, buddy. In another <laughs> game. The Omni Zedrika. I've also just noticed that Lyoda's like halfway up a mountain. Just like, yep. <laughs> yep. Oh, there you are. I didn't know where you were on the map. I yeah, just that, you that was kind of It's because there, like... Lyoda's stealthing with a four. <laughs> oh, yes, of course. Because <laughs> I was like, um, Brian, you're missing the token. I'm like, nope, there they are right also, there. Also, I meant to do this earlier, but I totally forgot. <laughs> there, there we go. go it's fine it's just so if we're looking back in chat for any particular reason there's at least some kind of way to like search the entire text dump that is downloading the archive um some really technical jargony there uh, anyway so we've got a turn order everybody cognac so we are aware that there is t posing Invaders, but and are can, we literally aware that they are right around the corner? Uh, you could probably see one, right? So I feel like line of sight wise, you could probably yeah. see this dude. And okay. He is too obscured by Cliff, I think. But you can see this dude. Yeah. Get out of the way, Cliff. Yeah. And um, Cliff jumps so there, inside. I'd like to obviously get a bit, a bit nervous and jumpy, but start speaking to myself just. Well, why can we just stay on the boat with my fish, 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 fish? And then I'd like to move over to so you can just, here. You can just go. You can technically go one further if you wanted. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Cool. Cool. Any other actions or anything? I'm assuming you've got your. Weapons I've got and my shield, shield and equipment. Yeah. Um, pip yourself with the actual shield, so we know it's on you yeah, as well. It, it's, a, it's equipped, and I'll do that. Cool. cool. That's all I want to do. Yep. Uh, right. Alvin. I shall. Yep. No. Yeah, I'll move thirty feet to there. Can you? No, I don't move 30 feet, do I? No. No, buddy, you don't. No, I am 25. <laughs> so I will rephrase that. Crap, I am opening up different things. So I shall move... I'll move 25 to there. Oh. Or in fact, no, I won't. I'll move 25 to that one. No, you wouldn't. Um, no, you wouldn't, buddy. Sorry, not that one, that one. Okay. So um, Alvin runs over there and runs in circles for a bit. <laughs> and uh, two seconds. Just trying With to... confidence, though. Is it, though? <laughs> <laughs> and when did they have time um, to build that? <laughs> confidence. I will use my bonus action and make my cannon move 
15 feet to there. Sure. Yeah. What's the range of your cannon? 120. Wow. It's a force ballista, everybody. Oh, jeez. <laughs> do not get in front of that. Yep. I'm staying, but I'm just staying so where the cannon is. You can see that's the angle you can see, right? So you could probably see this guy at a push. Right, okay, I was just about to ask uh, that. Yeah. Um, so anything so... within, like, under that arc you can see. So the one you actually measured initially, you wouldn't from that. Like, yeah. you can, but the cannon can't. I'm right in saying that I would be able to see these people here, right? Yeah, you can see everybody in front of you, yeah. Like, sure, it's about, like they, these guys here wouldn't be able to because it crosses over Cognac. No, it doesn't. Um, th unless they've because got stuff that matters, yeah. Like, yeah, he would in theory be blocking you, but you yeah. you wouldn't be able to see past Cognac either. Yeah, sorry, Cognac. So you can't right, see, okay. because you're small, you can't see this dude, or this dude, or this dude. Uh, cool. and but I can see him. That guy is actually, no, it does cross through Cognac Square, so you can, that's, um, that guy would be getting cover in the way of Cognac. Right, okay, cool. Never mind then. Um, you can I still will... take the shot on him, but it, it's just cover, which means he gets a higher chance of not being hit. I shall. Take just because of your size, edge. God, I hate size changes. Why did you have to play small things, really? I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yes, Flea Bite, I'm also I... looking at you up a tree. I will use. But it doesn't count them up a tree, surely. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Not for seeing over stuff, no. I'd like to imagine that we haven't noticed that he's in the tree yet. Uh, well, he's not stealth, so yeah, like oh. he's easily noticeable for you guys. Um, if obviously I'm going to just use a bonus action to run up to that square nope. there. Nope. Uh, no, sorry, nope. not a bonus action. Your action. My action to take a dash action to mm -hmm. move up mm -hmm. to there. Mm -hmm. uh, where, shit, where did I just say that? Cool. Yeah. Boop. Cool. I'm like, we still got five feet. Yeah, no, I'm fine there. Cool. How close do you need to be to your cannon? 60 feet. Alright, cool, so you should be fine from where you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah cool. that's why I was checking. Um... Cool, yep. Nice. Uh, right, okay, moving on. A deer. So, I would like to move my character... Oh, to... Is it Q I have to hold? Uh, Sorry. You just press tap Q and then you can just measure with your mouse. But if that's okay. a problem, obviously, if you can indicate where you'd like to go, we can move you if need be. <laughs> right. um, so that's up. Yeah, it's is gonna... it quite steep, or is yeah, it? Yeah, it's it's steep. Mm -hmm. It's double movement. It is double. Yeah. All right. Um, well, I would like to climb up, but I do have a bonus action that also lets me. No, oh, no, that's only disengage, hide, or something else um so yeah if you're a rogue okay. it's the something else that's probably important oh i can't remember something else bear with me um should be in your cunning action yeah. description yeah um you know for me it takes 20 minutes there we go uh this action blah, 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 dash i knew it was something like that <laughs> yes yeah. uh so cunning action i'm going to use to dash straight up uh so does that give me 30 feet just because it's hard terrain. Aye, so it's difficult terrain, so it's double movement, so you have 30 feet normally, right? Mm hmm Right? So you get 60, and it's going to cost you, like, to get up onto one, right? So any actual, like, is it there you want to go, for example, or there? Um, I'd probably just go to about there, yeah. There or there. Right, okay, mm -hmm. so if we say there, that's 40 feet, so you get 20 feet when you get up there. Eh, uh, sorry. That you've used 40 feet, so 20 feet, yeah, that makes sense. You get twenty left when you get there. Right, yeah. Um, then that is where I'm going to go. I'll just dump and you up there. That's... There you go. Grazie, amigo. Um, no I'm assuming that's happened because my computer still hasn't shown me. That's fine. Yep, <laughs> you're up there now. Yep. Nice. Uh, so I'm taking the high ground. You see, Lauda. For now. Hi. What are you doing here? Kind of standing with hiding? a with a branch from a tree over his face. <laughs> um. You're not doing a very good job of hiding, my friend. Um, should we maybe go that way towards the battle? Sure. Nothing from Lauda. Cool. 
Uh, but that's me for my goal, for my cool. round. Um, You've still got some movement, unless you're happy where you are. Uh, I'm more than happy to see how this kind of plays out. <laughs> right now, I have a nice... Actually... Oh, do I want to take a... Try and hide. With me. Um, how much do I still have? Uh, 20 feet wise? left from movement, yeah. 20 feet. Yep. Um, and an action, technically. True. Um, now, the people we're sort of coming up on, have they noticed us yet? Hard to see. Hard to see. <laughs> yeah. Because there's loads of trees in a, like you're up on a cliff. And, mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so 20 feet of movement can get me onto the edge just there. You wouldn't want to be like, to you definitely, off. yeah, you don't want to stand on the edge. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I would like a good view, but the trees, I guess, are kind of always yeah. in my way. Like that's why I was thinking the edge. To if see you down. can get like, so, see if you could get here. At mm. some point, that would get you a decent enough of view. But that's pretty much it. Trees are going to be your problem, and bushes mm -hmm. and such, because not all of them are trees, obviously. Um, now we're doing this in straight lines. When it comes to twenty feet of movement. To get around the trees, are you happy just going in a straight line for twenty feet of movement, or do you need me to do the? the it would. It would. Thing? If you're going to go through a tree, it's going to cost you an extra five, right? Let's face it. Right. Does that um, make sense? Right. So unless you're measuring it does, around no, it, absolutely. yep. So like you could do this, right? No bother. Uh, bear with me. My laptop's not it's showing okay. me yet. I've got ten foot squared. I don't know if anything else has happened yet. Yeah, there's two other steps to that, but that's fine. Oh, there we go. So you could in theory oh, yeah. do that, or uh, so around, you yeah. could technically do... Like, I don't mind if you did that to get there. Give it a I, second. I don't see what that is, so... <laughs> You'd need to refresh everything then, Calum. Mm -hmm. Just so as you know, for Calum's sake. Um, so... At there we go. Um, so outsider, and I would go um, away from the edge because I know where they are. And staying on the edge, running, there might be the soil. I could fall versus going the other way. I'm happy going the other way. So, so you get to there, go another way, yeah. I'm going to assume we're on the same page, and I'll go yes. Yeah, could you please perfect. Me there, but yep, I'll that's fine. That, don't worry. So. <laughs> when you when we catch up and sync up again, that's fine. Good. Cool. Hey, it looks like I'm in a tree, but I'm not. Still have an action. Yep. Um, no, I'm going to hold my action because, yeah, I'm going to kind of see what happens here. So what you're saying is you're either skipping your turn or preparing an action, and you need to tell me what the action you're preparing is? Uh, well, the only thing I would do at this point is take out my hand crossbow and have it ready. Cool. Well, I assumed you'd already done that anyway. Um, you yeah, said you were getting hide. your stuff up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could turn and hide. Or dodge. Or dodge, exactly, um, yep. Hide, dodge, you could prepare an action to, if somebody comes in range of your, your hand crossbow, you'll fire, like. Okay, um, I will... Um, Loads of options, actually. I will stay on oh, dodge. Cheat sheet. Mm. You want to dodge, yeah? Yeah. Sure. Done. You're dodging. Louder. Yeah. I love that cheat sheet. It's my favourite thing. Yeah, it is really good. It's literally a fucking godsend, actually, quite frankly. <laughs> like, hats off to whoever made that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it was not me. <laughs> so. Hmm. Can I get to there? Yeah. It seems fine. Pretty clear. Cool. Um, I'm going to draw my shield. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, you can just say equip it, because it's not drawing equip, it, it's equipping it. Can I equip my shield yeah. and my... Can I equip my quarterstaff at the same time? Yeah. Cool. Because um, one's done as part of your move, which is the quarterstaff. The other one's your yeah. action, because it's a shield. Cool. Sh so you get a bonus action is what you've to... got left, I think. Yeah. Hmm. 
Also, if you get your shield on, give yourself the same symbol Cognax got. Yeah, we will do. Cool. Just for Ooh. tracking. Oh man, I'm so sore from that stupid walk. <laughs> I was. <laughs> Old man. Oh, I'm very sorry. sorry. Yeah. Also, 100 damage to Fleabite. The tree gets hit by lightning. <laughs> Who could have predicted such an act of God? I am gonna... Hmm. Can I bonus action Shillelagh? Uh, if you can, you can. Yes, I can. Then you can. Okay. Storm or uh, the quarter staff. Uh, say that again, sorry. That's Shillelagh. Hmm. Right, we got lots of over-talking. What was happening? Uh, I'm bonus actioning Shillelagh. Okay, cool. On your core stuff, obviously. On my core stuff, yeah. Cool. Uh, that's a concentration, right? It is not. No? Nice. How long does it last for? One minute. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> is that my storm or a... That's just a... Uh, flea bite being hit by... <laughs> I I I I don't care about flea bite. I was more worried about my cannon. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. It's working over it. It's cool. Um, do you actually have an aura that I need to worry about? I have storm aura, but it only activates during rage. Then no, I don't have to worry about it yet. Don't worry. We'll cover that. Well, I need to put on a, an icon for sure. Really. It doesn't actually do anything at this point, other than it allows me to um, roll a, an attack on someone every turn. Uh, on this, no. If there's no concentration, nah. You can pip yourself with like I don't know, like the green pip or something like that. If you really want, there we go. I am um, just to say it's a buff cool. of some kind to say something's affecting you. How long does Shillelagh last for? One minute. Cool. I will add that in. Shillelagh. Shillelagh. <laughs> it's one of the best things to see people try and actually like say when it comes up and it's like yeah shillalag yeah i cast shillalag on myself and you're like no you don't <laughs> you might think you do sure. but you don't so you could always make up something called shillalag Mm -hmm. So as they do something really ridiculous to themselves. <laughs> Just take 10 damage. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll dump that under you. Shilla lag. Um, <laughs> right. Uh, cool. And what does that look like? What happens to your staff when you cast that? Uh, just like a, a bunch of thorny sort of vines go around it. Nice. I like it. Right. Thea Tor. Thea. Well, Thea is going to walk. Nice. <laughs> Away. Back to Away. the boat. Away. Uh, back to the boat where it's near the sea and nice. Mm -hmm. Half and speed for going to walk over there. Oh. And she's going to use her bonus action to put on her intrigued face. <laughs> okay. Right. You are now intrigued. I am now intrigued, thank you. And if um, any sort of um, threatening presence that isn't part of the party comes within 60 feet, I'm going to cast a sacred flame on them. Threatening presence. <laughs> ah, bird! No. Um, yeah, if one of these guys comes up um, in a, like, they're, 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 you know, yeah, if they come within 60 feet, um, oh. It's fine, carry on. Um, yeah, if they come within 60 feet, uh, she's she's casting Sacred Flame on them. Cool. Pip yourself with the withhold action. and Is that that one? Yeah, exactly. Uh, and technically also you're concentrating, believe it or not, so if you could do that too for me. Uh, which is the brain one. Yep. And just type in what your withheld action was in chat for uh, me. Yeah, sure. Just so it's got some kind of trigger text to it. And it can just be something as as soon as hostile in range, sacred flame. 
Uh, cool. And then, yeah. That you? I'm kind of assuming that is you. Yeah. Cool. So, those of you who are paying attention to the kerfuffle ahead, you can clearly see that there's a couple of dead bodies. You can see that there is what well, obviously was some kind of workhorse of some kind. Um, there seems to be one of the invaders kind of standing between more invaders and a small child. Oh, I thought it was like a cross between Mark Hamill and Carrie Fisher. <laughs> it is not. Or is it, though? Is it indeed? Right? Because mm. it kind of is. <laughs> But drawn in the Avatar The Last Airbender style. Yeah. Also like from the Fire Nation, <laughs> apparently. So it's fine. Anyway. Uh, um, that guy so looks like the, guy, the other guy that showed up. It does. Well, yeah. It, it looks does, doesn't like it? it? Yeah. Um, Funny, right? Weird, right? Um, but yeah. And you've got a pretty good view on that as well, given that you're there, I think, right? Mm -hmm. And you're staring right at him. Um, yeah, he seems to be like kind of, you know, monk style, hands out, trying to like, you know, fend off these other people. Uh, well, they're all kind oh. of like menacing gang style. Um, not a big just with Gangnam style, which we don't want. <laughs> I thought that's where you were going with that. Nope, nope. Not at all, for legal reasons. And uh, <laughs> yeah, he takes a step forward. And I'll, I guess I'll just start making this stuff public because it's probably more dramatic that way. So, against the guy to the south of him, he's going to go hoppa, and he's going to miss, because that guy like starts blocking with his sword, because um, this guy is obviously unarmed. And then the guy to the north of him, hoppa, and then the guy also blocks with his sword, because, let's face it, Fists versus weapons aren't exactly good. It's maybe somewhat of an unfair fight. And then the guy at the mm. bottom again, he just kind of goes to kick with his foot. And he hits him. <laughs> I kick you in the shin. Oh, jeez. Well. Yeah. I want to take on my team. Yeah. Kicks the shins and he blows up. And then he takes <laughs> a step back again. So jumps forward, punch one sick one guy, misses, punches the other guy, misses, and then boots the other guy, who obviously wasn't expecting the cheeky footwork to appear after the two feigned punches. And uh, then hops back in front of the kid. Flea bite. Does silent image cost an action? Uh, what does the spell say? Um, it, yes, it does. Then yes, it says it cost one action. So, well, it also says it costs other things, so I wasn't sure since it doesn't cost a spell slot, but it still costs the action. Yep. Still, it says you can cast it except for these things, so you still need to cast it using everything else that's on this the spell card. Yep. So it costs you one action. Number one in the flea bag. Um, yep, yeah, I would like to move over to this tree and climb up. So, dropping down or climbing down? Um, sort of to. <laughs> Mildly meta game. If I'm dropping down, I'm guessing that costs more movement. Uh, Drop... Sorry, if I'm climbing down, it will cost. More. Yeah, because keep in mind you only have so much climbing speed, which is in place of your move, not additional yeah. two. Um, 
so it's not part of my regular speed. No, those are just the options you have as movement. But dropping so, down would skip the using speed part, it's just you would take damage from the fall. Would it be a I guaranteed damage or would it be an acrobatics? No, I'll let you roll acrobatics, yeah. Um, yeah, then I would probably drop down. Yeah, sure. Give me some acro. Sure, I think that's reasonable, yeah. And then I got the street. So that's what, 20 to get to the tree? Yeah. So how much climbing would you have proportionally then? I don't have a climbing speed. You don't have a climbing speed? Right, so how much no. speed have you got left? 10. 10. Right, okay, so give me a acrobatics or athletics check to climb. Yep, you're up. <laughs> I'm going to assume trees are 10 feet up unless I need them to be different. I think that's reasonable. Um, and yeah, then I'll just um, sling with disadvantage because it's absolute rage. Yeah. Is this for your sling against who? The sling with the one directly. Yep. Yep. Cool. It misses. Not a terrible roll. <laughs> <laughs> not bad, yeah. Not bad at all. Um, okay, and then I would like to hide. Yeah, sure. I uh, roll stealth. Sorry. It's okay, it's the 15 still counts, don't worry. Cool. Okay, so you're working on the 15 for your stealth just now. Cool. I... That you? Yeah, done. Completed. Yep, that. Cool. Well, this dude, having seen a stone hit the ground near him, he's gonna have a look around to see what he can see. Alright, let's have a nosy. What can you see? Is this passive? Is passive? It's not actually that good, but is active? <coughs> it might be. <laughs> no. He just looks around. He's actually, he, he's looking down this way. He's like, what? Where'd that come from? He, he rolled a five. It's near a big stone, so it makes sense. He rolled a five. Yeah, that's that was the logic I, I used to govern that, quite frankly. <laughs> Um, but <laughs> while he's looking around, obviously he then just spots you people. Um, no shit. Uh, says something in a language hard to decipher, and uh, then him and his mate decide to come say hi. So here we go. Dun 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 dun. So, yeah. Damn, he's fast. I'm muted. I'm muted. Ah, no. I said have some sacred flame. Yep. <laughs> so, I, I. What, say? <laughs> what is the DC I'm up against? 13. It's a 13. Okay, let me have a look. What is it? Deck save? Uh, yes, deck save. I shall also unpip myself. Okay, I got it. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I did. So, the, the fire burns behind him and he runs through it like a badass. It just made him look cooler. So now Tink just sees this <laughs> tall thing running through this holy fire behind it. Uh, yeah. The uh, rest of them just move in on that guy. 
and mm -hmm. for the sake of doing loads, here we go. So I need to do eight of these. That's it. Blimey. Hey. Yep. That's actually better than last week. Well, I'm hoping none of them hit me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure these are all on that I am. No, all of uh, these are on all these are on the guy that's trying to like keep the, the kid away from them. Alright, okay. Yeah. I right, think so he may be trying to help. Three, four, one, two, three. Only three of them hit. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Alright, okay, so twenty, twenty, and seventeen. 57 damage. Dead. Yeah, so this guy's being like murdered, basically. He's dead. No, he's being. Being Look. murdered. In the process. <laughs> I mean, uh, what do you expect? He kept running them in the shin. Like, <laughs> yeah, that guy's shin somewhere over you here us, now. We kill you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. And then, um, I think, yeah. Cognac. What's happened, buddy? Uh, I am not very happy. Okay, yeah. Um, and I'd like to enter a rage, please. Uh, yeah, go for it. Well, the most polite rage ever. To be fair, he is a noble. <laughs> 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 Ta takes off gloves slowly. How dare you? <laughs> Throws it at you. <laughs> Pick it up. I dare you. <laughs> Like to move one to here. Okay, so let's do the rage stuff first, right? So paste rage in, right? And then pip yourself with rage man. Indeed. Cool, so we're raging. And then strong arms man. Strong arms man. It's a bit bizarre, isn't it, guys? Moving for two different classes between two games. Um, hmm. Hmm, yeah. Like how to think about how my character works, dot dot dot. It's not uh, opening up the options right there. There we go. After a million clicks. <laughs> That's what it takes, about six clicks to get past all the defences. Um, this man? So, or did you... Yep, that's that's uh, that's the concentration man. It's the rage man. We're looking for a big, tough, strong man. Yeah. There I have a, there we go. an aura. I have an aura. Okay, so paste that in. Right, so this effect, when this effect is activated, you can choose either one creature you can see in your aura. I, the target must make a dex saving throw. So, where's the... Thank you. <laughs> I wasn't going to paste it whilst you were reading it. So it it's away. okay. I, right, so extends 10 feet from you in every direction, but not through total cover. You enter a rage, you can activate it again in each of your turns, the bonus action. So it activates now and then when you choose to on your bonus action. And... You can choose blah blah blah. You picked C, didn't you? Obviously. Um, yeah. Okay, so let me just give you an aura just now. Uh, and it is a square and it is 10, 10 feet. feet. Okay, so let me edit that so you can see it. Can you see that? Yeah. Never yep, I can. Cool. That's. Five, ten. Yeah, that's ten feet. Okay, cool. So, now that that's there, the aura's effect requires... If your aura is quite sorry, saving throw, it's eight plus proficiency plus con mod. So what is all that added together? That's your DC for this. I hope you're ready for some auras. Uh, um, yep. Where do I see my DC? So that, I've just told you how to work out. It's at the very bottom of Storm Aura. So DC eight plus my proficiency... Plus con Which mod. one? You've only got one proficiency, proficiency bonus. Two. Proficiency Const bonus is at the very two. top. Two. So, so plus four. Zero. Okay, so that is 12. Oh. Right, so your DC for things just now in that regard is a DC 12, right? Which is the difficulty things are. Right, now let's look at Storm Aura. When this is effect activated, you can choose one other creature you can see in your aura target must make a deck saving throw or take 1d6 lightning damage on a failed save or half as much on a successful one. And it increases when you level up. So, who would you like to pick? Did you think it was going to be everybody? 
Yeah, I was like, oh, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> this is for the boot. <laughs> <laughs> Three days of rage after a month of just charging it up, <laughs> walking up and down, building up the static electricity to do this. <laughs> Hello, over here. Uh, the one right next to Tink, yeah. I just quite like to get his attention to as well. Look yeah, at no, me. it makes sense. Yeah, because uh, they're both kind of focused on Tink initially. Um, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. So, can you wait for me to roll, and then I'll roll, and then I'll do the thing. So, learning from Orvik. It is a deck save, is it? It is. Yeah. Right. Cool. Nope. So I'm gonna take Whoa. a d6. Can I roll a d6 for me? Cool. I'll take the full two. Wow. And then this other fellow here. Minus two, yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The guy next to you, yep. His pal. I would like to hit him. Okay, yeah. With my Warhammer. Okay. Hop -hop. Um, can I scream really loudly? I hope you do well, on mic, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. In character. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wait, why? Why am I on advantage? Shall I roll again, or just leave it like that? No, no, it's just the first roll. Yep. It doesn't hit. Guy brings okay. up his um sword because what happened is you walked up screaming, and as you screamed, I guess lightning starts crackling all around you because that's cause fuck, quite frankly. Um, yeah. And then. How is it the lightning arcs from you and hits the guy? Is this some kind of Thor with a hammer bullshit? Um, yeah, I'd like to imagine it sort of randomly sparks off my hammer and no one can really tell which direction it goes until it goes and it just sort of shoots off mm -hmm. in the direction I, I choose. I'm imagining that bridge scene, uh, the Bifrost scene from Ragnarok, quite frankly, when he's learned he can do more than just wield hammers. Mm. Oh yes. Yeah. Otherwise known as the immigrant song scene, quite frankly. Uh, mm. I mean, it I come from the land of the Isle thing. of Sky. Uh, oh. <laughs> like this is what high level, um, you know, Cognac should be like. Probably missing the eye as well, knowing Tink. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I needed it for a research. Yeah, I think okay. it's basically rock over here. Yeah, I hope you've realized. I'm going to give you an eye patch that gives me more AC. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, it'll be called "Turn the Other Cheek." That's what it'll be called. <laughs> um, but yes, um, anything else in your bag of sorrel tricks? Um, so that was moving some. Uh, you've got some movement left, right? So. I don't think you want I'd... to move, though. No. Um, just throw some rations at him. <laughs> well, that doesn't no. happen. But here we are. <laughs> Tink, you've got two scary-looking warrior dudes in your face. Mm -hmm. I know there's an appeal to that, but... And I'll dump in chat what they look like for people that care, because they're kind of badass-looking. They are kind of I just it's the shoe armor, right? The kind of whole like leg part is really mm. fucking cool. They just look like Isn't the that chest. Is that the important part to cover, not their chest or their head? What oh, is that, Alexander? Sorry, I only heard sass. The the shoe armor is not <laughs> sabaton. Yeah. Uh, Ryan, that's me. Clearly, that's why that guy went for their shins. Could <laughs> that's where all yeah. the vital organs are. Sorry. <laughs> Could you show me what a 10 foot square is like? Uh, a 10 foot cube or just square? It uh, says um, da -da -da, centered on a point with a. Uh, it uh, covers the ground in a 10 foot square centered on a point within range. Yeah, so 10 foot is four blocks, right? So if I drew it. Uh, mm -hmm. And I'd take it off a of freehand because it would be garbage if it was on freehand. Uh, where is the button to get rid of that? So let's go for polygon line. So there you go. That's a 10 foot. That, like, that box. you're in red. Right, okay, cool. Right, that's what I thought. Yeah. Um, Assuming that's 
like the text if it doesn't say radius or anything right so no 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 um, so yeah that is a 10 foot box right. then whereas My... can you see why that's like the aura that extends from him is 10 foot because if i use this you can see how it extends 10 foot from cogmac right right yeah yeah Aye, because then that would only affect me and that other guy not cognac well i don't know what you're trying to do but i'm just explaining right. distances no. anyway <laughs> um so the reason i'm asking is because i'm uh reach into my bag and um I <laughs> throw a chunk of grease at the bastards um is there a reactionary jump backwards no no uh, Bah, rats. So I'm basically wanting it to cover the two guys and the two spaces behind them. So like, no, because of your size, so it would hit and cover this. <laughs> wow! Remember, we covered this about how you're seeing over things. Yeah. Works. So it would be there. <sighs> could could I cancel? <laughs> no. Uh, um. <laughs> Why would we ever cancel that? It's perfect. It's hilarious. What if I threw it on... Would... No. Um, would I... Can I see that one? No, I can't. Is it still him? Okay, well, fine. Right, so I'll make some grease. Yay! There's a lot of grease. grease. Can you not even get it like on this square? No, why would I do that? Because <laughs> you get both of them. So I'll just move the... I'll you move you move and you, you to that. the front, and I'll dump this underneath you. There we go. <laughs> so, uh -huh. I, I'll add grease in, right? Because it lasts a minute. Uh, lasts a minute. Um, oh, jeez. <laughs> yup. Yo. What is it grease does again? So, um, if anyone is standing anyone hit by or standing in it at the end there. each Sorry, creature there. standing in its area must succeed on a deck saving throw or fall prone a creature that enters the, the area or ends its turn there must also succeed on a dex or throw yeah, what's your dc my, my dc is... it's on the last the spell page at the top so it is. Uh, spell save DC is 13. Okay, put DC 13 in for a moment. In the chat. Also, yes, 100% had Grease Lightning. Yep, 100%. Probably the name of the session. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Like, yeah. probably. Go Grease Lightning, go. I'm just going to claim credit on that straight away. <laughs> so, Ooh. just uh, in before. Uh, so, that was your action, Tink. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> God. How does Lai, uh, not Lai, just sorry, how does uh, Cognac feel about Tink just like throwing grease everywhere? <laughs> it's like a squid, right? You've upset uh, a squid. <laughs> I, I, I like this idea. Him. Like, I like this idea that uh, Tink's kind of like reached into his bag and he's just kind of like tried to like lob it over him, but it's mm -hmm. just hit him in the face and just kind of like spewed out to the grounds it's on. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Fucking hell. No. I doesn't think it would be nice for the Grease to get in his shield. Um, right. Shine. So, do you want me to do a deck save the now, then? Is that your turn over, buddy? No, not yet, but, I mean, would I not need to do a deck save before I do anything else? Uh, yeah, I guess so, to be honest. Like, because you are standing in it, right? Yeah. Because I was assuming me and that creature would be. Yeah, to let's, let's both make our deck save, shall we? Oh, shit. Why it's on advantage, I don't know, but it doesn't matter. The 16 still Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah. St I'm still sorry, works. Mm -hmm. It's okay. I, do I have a deck save? Bam. Nope. Yeah! Oh, back to rolling Wonder. terribly. That actually worked. <laughs> Yeah. Well, my plan was to have them two fall over so that I could disengage. Tink's too short to do, to fall over. That's why. Mm -hmm. I'm already technically prone. <laughs> 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 it 
You've been prone your whole life. Uh, <laughs> I was born prone. You really adopted the pro. <laughs> Well, says the skaven. Maybe he's an architect there. Since he's been knocked on his ass. Um, it's so bad as well because there's another saving throw coming up. Let me think on what I want to do. It's going to be a lot of them. Um, mm. Can the cannon hit him? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, no! You tell me, can, can the cannon hit cannon? him? <laughs> well, it's in range, but because my cannon would be small, it wouldn't be able to see over cognac, would it? Um, Why don't you move the cannon? You've got movement for it. Yeah, no, that's what I'm trying to work out first, is because right. I can only move it or use it. All right, shout duck. Uh, the guy would have cover from cognac. Mm. Cognac is literally the equivalent of a wall, quite frankly. Given it really is. Um, I am just going to move said cannon. But like the shot is only more difficult. It's not like it gets. It's not particularly. Um, oh, is it not like? Is it not fatal to cognac? Not yet. Not yet. What I'm saying is, cognac provides cover to this dude. So this dude's AC goes up by the value of right. cover that cognac provides him. Okay. Um, because of the sizes. But there's enough like. No, I, I, will just move, I will just move it so 15. So further there. behind him. <laughs> nah, screw it. I want to do damage. Right. So, how does your uh, Force Ballista work? Also, Toll the Dead? Uh, it is a 2d8 Force uh Nope, there's an attack roll involved somewhere. Yep, um, I just don't know how to do the attack roll just oh, now. Let's have a look at Force Ballista then, do you want to pop it back in? So, yeah, I'm just going to paste in. Keep in mind guys, all this stuff can be sped up by admin. Mm -hmm. So make a range spell attack. Um, Arnating from the cannon at one. Okay. So does it get proficiency or anything like that? Like, how does that all work? Like, what are the bonuses to the attack? You need to go learn all that, buddy. Yeah, see, that's what I can't... I can see all this stuff about movement... I mean, this is your job to learn all that, though, not mine. So go learn all that, and we'll, we'll come back to the, the cannon, shall we? Uh, right, for now, then, I'll just move it. Cool. To there. Oop. Yep. As it skitters over with its creepy spider legs. Mm. Okay. Uh, uh, now I need you to make a deck save. Me? Mm hmm. Because you've ended your turn. Oh, yeah. Whoop. Just. <laughs> Yay! Like every now and then, Tink just occasionally. Steadies themselves. <laughs> My internet died there, so I Fine, back. welcome back. He just missed a cannon moving, that was all. And Scott remembering that he didn't know how his character worked. Uh, right, a dare. So, from where I am up here, do I have line of sight on this guy? On both of them, yeah. Can I see him? Like I do. Um, pardon? You can see both of them, just one's fell over. So one's prone, the other's up and about. Yeah. Now, this grouping over here, I feel there's too many trees in my way. Yeah, you'd need to move to see that. But like, if you move, um, um, let's see, you probably could though, right? So you could move mm -hmm. to like there and get a view on them, right? And that would be you. Mm -hmm. I have a plan. I'm just not sure which one to go with. Well, but, I've got two plans, sorry. Um. But that would be your total movement if you moved um, to where I'm pointing. I'm going... I'm not sure how to do this because I've never done it before. Um, Talk me through it and so I can see what I'm I can... going to... Well, Lida's right next to me. Kind of. 
kind of, but enough for me to throw the end of my rope to Lyra and say, hold this as I may need you to direct uh... me. And, and the other end I'm going to be holding and I'm going to cast levitation on myself and float up 30 feet so as I have line of sight of everyone on this field uh, because the trees are only 10 feet and that uh, gives me like a sharp shooter spot from up high so uh, to shoot everyone. The trees are not oh. only 10 feet. I'm saying that I'm assuming that you can go 10 feet up in a tree is what I was saying uh, for flea bite. Curse. Yes. <laughs> right. Yes. Uh, if I were to cast my levitation, would I get above tree line? Uh, yeah, if you've got like Enough how much, how much do you have of levitate? How far up can you go in a turn? Uh, It'll be in the spell. I believe it's thirty feet. Uh, where are spells on the sheet? There we go. And thirty feet. Nope. Oh, up to 20. sorry, I did not mean to pull. It's only up to twenty. And I take it. No, I think like depending on like what we're going for here, yeah, you could probably get twenty feet up. Yeah. Um, that would give me a line of sight, everyone. Keep in mind, you can still move first. I could, it's just the reason for giving the rope is so that when I'm levitating, because once I levitate, I can't actually move myself. I know. Yep. So I'd like Lyda to use the rope to direct me if need be. So just... I need to pull you along. What if I want to move somewhere? Or do anything, because he'll need I a hand. I'll go with you. And all that for this, remember. I have a True. shield in one hand and a quarter staff in the other. Yeah. Uh, okay. If your hands are busy and I see that, then I wouldn't. I have a trunk. Do this. Ooh. Can my trunk actually pull? Because my trunk can do stuff. What can your trunk do? Let's see. He could. He could pull me like a kite. <laughs> I think he could what's things. What's your strength score? Uh. Negative one. No, no, that's the modifier. Oh, God. The modifier is negative. Oh, eight. Okay. Oh, wait, oh, it's the so, actual score. So times okay. five. 40. Right. And so I could lift 40 pounds. But he weighs way more than that. So. But I'm not I lifting do. him, I'm moving him. Dragging Correct. Him. Think of it like his strength. Yes, I'm l Okay. Also, apparently gravity doesn't exist the same way in a D&D &D universe like it does in our old to all of our issues about the tides. No, that don't really matter, so... There we go. That was the video I linked earlier um, in the week. So, yeah. Need to push or pull. So, no. You you probably can't. It depends. Do, what do you weigh when you're in the air? Levitate um, might fix this problem for you. Mm -hmm. oh, that um, it's worth it though, but Levitate is the one that gets everybody with their fucking protractors out. Um, doesn't look like it says... 500 pounds? It can lift up to 500 pounds. Oh, it can lift up to pounds. It doesn't mean you say your mass changes though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which means him pulling you, he would need like him pulling you. Nah, because your trunk's basically mage hand, really. Only slightly better if you're stronger. But if you're willing to put like your quarter staff away, you could do this. Nah, uh, don't worry about it. No, you stay armed because uh, you've probably got a plan. I was just throwing an idea out there. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to go nice and simple and use my crossbow and attack, uh, but do a sneak attack um, oh. against uh, this guy. Um, but I'm going to use not normal sneak attack because I have... Is it fancy? Um... I do not know. Right, um, so because I have fancy work, footwork, it means that I don't need advantage on the roll, uh, so I can use my sneak attack without... You were, you were getting sneak advantage. attack anyway, because they have enemies next to them, which is the sneak attack oh. other option besides advantage. Oh, of course, so it does. Um, so yeah, uh, sneak attack, crossbow shot at uh, this dude. Um, so to do this, um, if I click on sneak attack, does that go into the group chat? Uh, no. So on your sheet, what you want is, like, yeah, you can click it there and it will go into group chat if you hit the speech bubble first. That, yep. And that will put in sneak attack. Do you want me to do that? Uh, yeah. 
And then what you would do on your sheet is there's a tick box for sneak attack mm -hmm. damage underneath your attacks. You can tick that box. It is. Mm -hmm. Yep, and then Ticked. you just make the attack as normal now. And it's against this dude here, right? So I click so. on hand crossbow. Cool. So he's 35 feet away? Mm -hmm. uh, it's 30 to 120. Cool, so this is disadvantage. Hmm? So is it disadvantage, the shot? It is. Yeah. Is that because of the... It's because he's 35 feet away. It's 30 to 35. Uh, it's 30 to 125 feet. Which is why a crossbow? a crossbow with someone's at 35 would be a disadvantage. Right? Because 30 is the normal range and 120 mm -hmm. is the disadvantage range. Oh, I thought it was up to 120 for the crossbow. It is. So if, he was within you can, so if he's 125 feet away, you can't attack. Right? Yeah. So the fact that he is within and the 120 feet, you can make the attack at disadvantage. And if he was in 30 feet, you could make the attack normally. Make sense? Oh, I've, that, we have always played it a different way. Then nope. you've been playing it wrong, because that's in the rules. So range bands have, like, for example, uh, well, this. Disadvantage is clicked, and you could have just moved closer. You've still got all your move. Is it disadvantage uh, well, or is it normal? That... I don't know what you're saying. Because other people are talking. Has he got advantage no, from sneaking? No, it's not around. you. I want to speak. I want him to speak. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's his turn. <laughs> so it's his, him that has to learn. Don't worry. So, Gregor, you've still got all your move. Yeah. Because you've not moved. So um, well, just... in that case, because I, it's, I believed it was if it's 30 to 120, that's just normal. If it's under 30, you disadvantage or... Nope. Yeah. Or if it's out of 120... Ranged attacks are only a penalty um... if you're engaged. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting i need to tell my other groups that <laughs> um so yeah i'm gonna move first <laughs> sure um just literally one this. square down will cover you yeah so i'm oh, on the wrong thing it's okay so i'm just gonna move there cool and from here now it's a normal shot attacking because now he's in range oh, there we go so that's normal and sneak attack is activated perfect so this should show up that hits you'll be pleased to know Wait. If you click it, it should do all your damage. Oh, yeah. Sorry. There you go. Look at that. Wait. I done did stuff. 100% did. Yep. Nice. Big crossbow bolt comes flying down the hill into that dude. Uh, you've got loads of movement options left, probably, right? So. I do, because uh, my bonus action is available uh so i'm just taking care of my crossbow bolts there we go uh right so let's get up here in this situation uh how's this guy doing is he still up and annoyed <laughs> um right i'm gonna back up towards lida and i'm using my bonus action to hide next to lida Hello? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, you can move up there. Nope, oh, sorry. Yep. I thought my internet no, I got you. died again. I was too busy trying to read the thing that was being posted yeah. in the rules because loads of people are posting stuff in chat just now. <laughs> Fair enough. It's okay. Um, so because I've got loads of movement, I'm just going to go there. And what do you want me to activate for hide? Uh, uh, what symbol? You need to roll a stealth for me. Oh, oh um, as my bonus action, I can do that automatically. Uh, yeah, but to hide, you also still need to stealth. Oh, okay. Yep. Uh, so stealth, there we go. Cool, you got a nine. Because keep in mind, when people are looking for you, it's against the stealth roll that you make. Ah, okay. Because you, you don't just become invinci invisible by saying I hide in a bush when there's no other bush around and you're in the desert and all the guys Aye. were just shot by you. So, Good point. Okay. Yeah. Be one of those invisimancers. Yes, the Invisimancers, uh, or Invincimancer, as I said earlier. Um, Invincimancer. That was it. Uh, uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll pep you with a little, there we go, ninja face, and go. 
there are oh, <laughs> some way stealths, yeah. Um, <laughs> mostly, I think Lauda is hiding behind a, a branch, and you are hiding behind Lauda. Um, <laughs> Lauda, go break his stealth. Walk away. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna move. I said, I said near Lauda, near Lauda. I know it's if fine. I, You're in the bush. Don't worry. It's if just... I go here, right? Okay, yeah. Can I see all this? Uh, let's see. You can probably see the stuff south of the guy. So can I see these guys now? Probably not. No, there's probably a bush in the way. If I go here, I definitely can't see these guys. Probably can't see him. Don't think I can see. Okay, I'm gonna go to this one. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, who knew there. terrain was a bitchy? Yeah. Uh, first of all, well, basically. I'm still convinced that this guy was a bad guy, and I was way up here when I, when he was attacking people, so I didn't see any of that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, all I see is four dudes and this dude. Um, Keep in mind, they don't just all do their attack and go back into like sta static yeah. posing. There is, they are still attacking him. Like it's all okay. kind of similar, right? Just see like a bunch of swords flailing about. Yeah, and this guy being murdered by them. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna cast Entangle. Okay, another good spell. Uh, I'm gonna draw a shape. Oh, no, no, not that. Um, in this square. So do you want to just paste Entangle since you're casting it? Uh, yep. Yep, so a 20 foot square, starting from a point within range, you're definitely within range, right? So, perfect. Yep, I am. Yep, definitely. Excellent. And what have we got here? So you want it there, just covering all them? Yeah. 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 Square, yeah. yeah, that's fine, I got it. Yep, perfect. Cool. And once that goes down, I'm going to use my spirit totem. Sure. With the hawk spirit. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, do you want me to put the spirit? To May as well, just for everybody else, yeah. Just in case they have um, questions. Also, you should have left, gonna... left your uh, square there, by the way. That's what you should have done. Oh, uh, sorry. I'm trying to find a, a suitable graphic to pop in as well. Uh, so, yeah. Basically, I drop a spirit uh, totem which comes in the form of a hawk. And within 30 foot radius of it, um, it gets. I, I can use a reaction to give advantage on an attack roll that somebody does. Uh, and we also get passive wisdom, passive perception checks. Or is it wisdom perception checks? Yeah. So I'm going to drop it on. I can't find the thing we used for Entangle before. Do you know that? I don't know where that's went to. Yeah. Is it not? In the, no, no, it's not. No, hmm. it's not. I know that much. I knew, I knew that going in, because I'm like, damn it, I knew that was something I was supposed to do at some point. But I didn't, yeah. because it's too much to do. So I'm going to drop the... I love how our entire code communication code. there was, is it? No? Oh. Yep, yep, yep. Gotcha, don't worry. I'm the same thing. Right, so you want the, the totem to go in that square, right? Yep. Cool. Is the bear totem He's available? Now. No, is the bear totem oh available to you? Uh, it should be. Bear totem in... is available, yes. Do I dump that in? Because it should be the same radius. All that. Oh, it's actually a. Yeah, remember, I've already got one of these, or had one of these druids, and she only ever used the bear totem, so. But it should still uh, be a 30 foot radius. Don't see it. Well, I meant, is when I said is it available to you, I meant the token. Yeah, no, I can't see the token. Cool, then it's not available to you then. Two seconds. I'll see if I can find that just now. This is also what I mean by admin. If MT has moves like this, you just need to give me advanced. Apologies. That's okay. It's just we need the, all this stuff done already before the game starts because it's mm -hmm. very time consuming. Uh, let me just import it from the other game. That's probably the quickest instead of remaking it. 
Here's a game. I will steal it from the keepers of the Golden Gate. That's what I will do. And I have no idea what it's called, so this will be exciting. Mm. It is... Bear Totem. There we go. Right, let me go back to this. As you're doing that, I'm going to put myself with concentration. Boom. I'll make it over at a square, and I'll make... Everybody should be able to see that. That is massive. <laughs> yep, right, it's I'm fucking huge. Change that, though, to like a kind of green. Is that better? Yeah, that's much better. I actually put that in the wrong square. I meant to put it on that one. No, that's fine, though. I should look at that. I should prefer it, though. Uh, right, and this other one will have to be entangled until I can find something suitable, quite frankly. Because I've got webs. Well, I get rid of the little green square. Like, I've got this, and that can do for now. Yeah, you can get rid of the squares if you want, yeah. Yep. Cool. Uh, for the hawk, though, hmm. when the creature makes a tight roll, yeah, let's have a bunch of perception checks. Magic with summon. When you cast this, mm -hmm. do they need to have been in it when you cast it to have got the bonuses? Or is it just uh, when they're standing in it? I don't believe so, I think it's when they're standing in it. Mm, okay. Uh, when a creature similar. makes an attack roll against the target in the spirit's aura. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so I'm just going to put Hawk T. And it's a minute, isn't it? It is. I'll dump that up there next to your chalet. Everything's. Okay, dokie. Anything else I need to track for you? The entangle. Uh, how long? A minute. Cool. Does your hawk count as um, your spirit totem? Is that concentration? It is not concentration. Perfect. Okay. Alright, so entangle. I thought about this move a long time ago. <laughs> Good man. Just not long enough ago to have given me the heads up on yeah, the admin. Yeah. That's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Still gonna give you shit for it though. But Druids are complicated, man. You picked it. True. It's up to everybody to make the play fucking all back in the other one, so going from swinging hammers to a million things. Okay. And okay. Yeah. <laughs> Is it else? All those dudes need to make a deck saving throw. Do they? Right uh, now? At the next, start of the next turn, I think, isn't it? I don't know. You tell me. Uh, when you cast the spell. Yeah. Right? So when, I... when you cast it. So that is happening. So I'm just going to copy it and paste this and dump this in. Oh, I don't want to inspect. I want to dump. Paste. There we go. So that's the stuff that I need to care about just now. Yeah. So I need to make a, deck, a strength saving throw. And or be restrained. Until the spell ends, creature restrained. Can you actually make a strength check? DC, type that in for me. Uh, second. Okay, so. So I need four strength saves. One, two, Five. three, Seven. four. Nope, let me talk. There we go. Right, and second. then. I track all this. So. If I move this just to the side so I can actually deal with all the shit I need to deal with. Move them to the front. Move them to the front. Slide that back underneath. There we go. I can click on them now. Good. Alright, so the first guy did not make it, so I'll give him the restrained, which is the fist, wherever that lives. Where does the fist live? There we go. Alright, so restrained. Next guy definitely didn't make it, so that was restrained. Uh, and then the other two got it, so they're not restrained. That's fine. And then guy in the middle. Let's see. Nope. Oops. 
<laughs> I mean, this is what you want from Entangle. Yes. Big crazy roots coming out and making sure people can't move anywhere. Indeed. <laughs> yeah, so all these roots come up. Nice. Nicely done. But I may have screwed us. <laughs> then I skip through all of your stuff. And it's Thea. Hi. <laughs> So a lot happened there. Dear gods. A lot did happen. Jeez, oh. So, uh, Thea is going to... This is what a Circle of the Shepherd, by the way, just so you know. Circle of the Shepherds, druids are crazy for buffs. And... Oh, it gets even more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry, carry on. Thea. Um, so, yeah, uh, she's Why are you red? gonna switch... Oh, that's just to remind me that I have an axe. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, because um, I, I forgot. And I was like, oh, I should probably cast my act. No, I've already done that. So I figured red. Um, yeah, so she's going to switch to her um, happy mask. Not the weapons? Oh, that's that's kind of... I was looking for something, but... It's, it's like a bunch of cross swords. There's no good axe, sadly. Yeah, I was like, ah, oh, there must be a big axe. But no, that'll do. Um, this gentle person here... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I'm gonna cast a spell. Oh my! Imagine she's that. gonna giggle. Uh, she's gonna cast Bidoof. She's gonna go Bidoof. Okay, let me have a look at. She's what... gonna go Bidoof. Let's see what Bidoof um, actually is. So it must succeed on a Wisdom saving throw. Uh, on a yes, Wisdom. All right, so it's quite and a madness you're casting. Interesting. Okay. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. That is a Darius character sheet that's not cast on him. Um, <laughs> this is like, would also, be. Scott, this would be Crumbar's worst nightmare, Please by the way. Don't I hope you know. <laughs> uh, right, so wisdom saving throw or what happens? Uh, <laughs> well, uh... ignore that. Okay, I was like, what? <laughs> um... You get shot in the back so, yes. by a cannon. Uh, uh, basically, uh, the the creature becomes charged by me. Um, so while it's charged, charged, charmed, um, like it, it basically goes mad, and it must use its action uh, before moving in each of its turns and make a melee attack against a creature other than itself, which could be bad if the other thing dies. But um, I get to basically choose who it attacks if if it fails. It's Saving throw. Yeah, cool. Essentially. Uh, so it's a wisdom saving throw, yeah? Yeah. 13. Okay. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. Yeah, I think, uh, like. I think, yeah, Thea, like, would, would, like, stand, like, raise, like, her hand and just, like, just kind of scream. Let madness take you, and then start laughing, and then uh, like her laugh slowly becomes like a, a bit of like a whimper and a cry, as like nothing just kind of happens. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's a nice try though. It's a good spell. Yeah. Mark off the spell. slot. No, I'm gonna. And you gonna move anywhere? <laughs> go right, go yeah. for a grease bath. Um, do you know what? Hold on. Ah, that's fine. I'm gonna move there. Okay. No one's gonna do a uh, Margarita or whatever it is from Doctor Evil. <laughs> <laughs> nope. We're all good. Uh, right. So. So this. Guess I'm gonna make a strength. Was it a strength check? What is the the stuff I need to deal with? Creature restrained by the plants can use its action to make a strength check against the DC. Right. Okay. So it's a strength check. This is gonna go well. Ah oh, damn! I actually did the saving throw wrong. Oh well. That's fine. This guy's saving throw bonus. What was his actual bonus he rolled? Was it the last one? Nah. It doesn't matter. He rolled that low anyway. It wouldn't have made a difference. That's fine. His saving throws are different from his stats. He's actually got a line of them. Uh, okay. It's rare on a character sheet, put it that way, for an enemy. They're not laid out like you guys. 
Um, mm. But yeah, let's see. So it's a strength check this time, which is actually worse than his saving throw. Uh, yeah, okay. But that's pretty much all he can do. Yeah, so... Well, he does it. Yes! I didn't fucking do much. Um, <laughs> so that's off this guy, which is nice. Ah, <sighs> um, that's his action, all right. So mm. that's fine. What else can he do? Those guys are restrained. That's fine. Can he actually do anything else? Probably not, because of having to break out. Unless any of this stuff is quicker than that, it is not. So, yeah, he just still positions himself between the kid and these guys. Mm. Kind of looks up on the hill and sees some big chanting elephant man. <laughs> and some bizarre hawk thing in front of him. And uh, that's his goal. Flea bite. There are a lot has happened recently. There has been <laughs> lightning. There's been grease. Cannons have moved and skittered around. There's been crossbow bolts flying. There's been chanting elephants with hawk totems and fucking grasping vines coming out of the ground. A lot has happened. I'd like to use <laughs> sling. Um, <laughs> the guy that's been down. He's he's like downed. Yes. Uh, so he will have to spend his action to stand up. No, he can stand up as half part of his move. move. Yeah, half his move. Oh, half his it's move. not half his move, what we talked about. It costs, as part of your move, half of that absorbed, yes. 100%. Yes, <laughs> to get back up. Half. So much is going However, he would, he would have to make another save to get out of the, the oil. Uh, yeah, if he, can, he can just get up and walk out. Because he's it's was it when it's cast of anyone standing in it, so that's no longer applicable. So it's if you sorry, start your turn or end your turn in it. Right? But he's gonna start his turn on prone, so he's kind of in a good position to just get up and walk out with no issue. Make sense? Yeah. Um I'm just trying to work out and I know this is a metagame so you can't answer, but I'm just trying to work out if he's already <laughs> taken damage. I don't even remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, uh, there you go. Okay. It was the lightning. Uh, I'm happy to answer uh, because the players remember, so that's fine. If he, you will have disadvantage on the shot, though, for the guy lying so, down. Ranged attacks have disadvantage on prone people. Oh really? Yep. Even though he's not moving. Uh, it's, <laughs> that's just—it's just the rules of D and D. And you're up a tree. <laughs> yeah, so make it easier. He, it's like he's. Um, I know. It's like just, the angle. Just, just <laughs> literally prone people. D and D. Ranged attacks disadvantage. That's how it yep. works. As, just, since I'm stealth, I do just cancel out. Yeah, so it's just a normal roll for you. Uh, but if you hit the other guy, there's. You get advantage, advantage, right? And you could then add your, like, sneak attack, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, I will indeed hit that other guy. Okay. And you gotta uh, use your sneak attack. If it hits. <laughs> cool. Um, I would like to use my Earth Elemental ammo. I see. Sure. Can load in some earth elemental rocks into your sling, yeah. Ugh, damn it. <laughs> so it's one higher because of the rock you're using. But it still misses. Uh. The random just a little bit of earth elemental <laughs> rock just lands. <laughs> Camera, too far camera zooms in, it's a tiny, tiny version of what you just fought with a fist out in front of it. <laughs> um, but no, so anytime uh, you're using the Earth Elemental Ammo, you'll get plus one to attack and damage. 
Nice. Um, and then I'll probably just be stealth. Cool. Want to roll for that? Roll me some sweet, sweet stealth. Damn it. Sorry, I was still. It's okay. It's the 12. That's fine. Just update you to 12. Okay. Uh, obviously, mark off some earth elemental ammo. Yep. And anything else from the tree? <laughs> <laughs> and then you stealth. Um, right. Okay. Let's start this shit show. Um, I'm just. Yeah, I'll start with the guys actually and fighting you guys. That, that makes the most sense, right? So let's deal with that first, shall we? So I dude one, who's the one next to Cognac, is probably gonna be looking between Cognac and the gnome and being like, eh? And then looking around for whoever keeps throwing rocks. Um, doesn't seem to notice who's throwing rocks though. I, but they are gonna attack Cognac because Cognac is a giant storm turtle right now, which is somewhat problematic, quite frankly. Um, so I attack one. What is your AC currently? It's high, right? Why are you hmm. not? Why Why are you not speaking to me? What's happening here? What's 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 going on? Why am I getting text version? Hello. Uh. Yes. Why? Why are we muted? Sorry. Talk to me. It is twenty. Okay. Cool. Uh, okay. Attack two. Good. Oh. Well, yes, but he could type it in. <laughs> <laughs> he was waiting for you to tell him what your AC was, so he could input the plus one. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> Um, does that slashing become half because of resistance? You tell me. Psychic? I have resistance to slashing, bludgeoning, yes. and... Yes, so that would half the slashing. But not the psychic. Correct. Very so... few things have resistance to psychic and demon. Fourteen. Yep. You take the damages. So the thing slashes in with its big crazy psychic katana thing. Minus fourteen. And I'm gonna say, ow. Mm -hmm. That's valid. Yep. <laughs> Just screaming. Ow. Uh, then, let's see. Yeah, I think he's gonna. Is he though? Nah, ignore the movement. He's not going to bother moving. He's going to stay put. Um, Ken needs Cognac to be there, to be honest. Um, and this other guy is going to spend half of his move to stand up. He's going to look around like the actual fuck. And then he's going to swing in at Alvin. Uh, let's see. Alvin, whoopa. What's your AC at? My AC is, I believe, uh, 16. Is it? How do you have an AC of 16 mm. as a gnome? Because I'm a baller. But also the actual reasons? You've got more than me. What, what makes uh, you AC 16? Let's have a look. Um, My badass shortness, I'm, I don't know. More art, like more, like. I need the actual math reason. Um, honestly, I have no idea. Neither do I. So. I think it's maybe scale. because you're, you're uh, according to this wearing scale mail. That seems yeah. to be the reason why. There we go. I answered that. Cool. Makes sense. And yeah. then, I. Obviously, as this like rips up your goddamn fucking. Chain mail, or your sorry, your scale mail, a uh, blouse. Um, he swings in again. again. Uh, 
There you go, buddy. I laugh back. That is, that, that is damage. Mm. 19, buddy. 19, yeah. Yeah. Yay, I am dying. <laughs> <laughs> You're not dying yet. <laughs> You're just in a lot of pain. A lot of pain. Yeah. Okay, so. Uh, that guy then... God, is he brave enough to do this? Yeah. Is this he, the, that's he, the same guy? He takes a step back. So, Ooh. do you want to use your reaction, Cogmac? Yep. Oh, right, Cogmac. Yeah, you're not holding a melee weapon. I would like to. Yeah, go for it. That's just the same as clicking it, yeah? Yep. You start Bang. free attack. Nah, guy manages to to duck out of the way, possibly because he's sliding on the grease on the way out. I am... Yeah, I'm just wanting to double check grease. Oh, is, is, does uh, it affect him on the way out? Is it? No. So he started his turn in it, right? So it's starting or ending your turn in it, but he oh, was I, already yeah. prone, so he was in. The, he was immune. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like when you when you enter yeah. it or end, right? Yeah. And currently, you mean he you, wasn't double you, prone? And like currently, you have your like smith's tools as your arcane focus in your hands, so you can cast spells mm -hmm. and shit like that. So, yeah, that's what we've got in your hands, buddy. Smith's tools. That's his arcane yeah. focus, yeah. That's kind of how it works, nice. yeah. Um, right, I, that's those two. Now I'll do this goddamn strength moves for this because Entangle is crazy. Right, so first guy, there's no actual extra bonus here, so it's just an actual check, doesn't make it. Second guy, nice. He does yeah. make it. Uh, yeah, you've still got one of them, uh, which is good. And then yeah. that was his action, I guess, so yeah. He ain't doing much else. Uh, the two guys at the bottom. I, well, I need four of these. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so what is, what is that? 11 plus more. 27. Total? Yeah. 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 Cool. Yeah, let's see. Yup. Uh, could he, in fact? Yeah, I think I'll do that then. So as he's being wailed on, he'll hit that. Nice. And, uh, so the air kind of like ripples in front of him as the kind of visuals get distorted and all these things like start smacking off the. The bubble that forms around them. I've seen till they use that. Yep, one hundred percent. Yep, mm -hmm. it's OP. It's just a really fucking good. I'm a squishy yeah. person move. Um, mm -hmm. Or if you're not a squishy person, you're a really high AC. It's an even more broken move. Um, so he does that. That's his reaction done. I guess I'll just pip him to say he's done that. He's reacted. I. Same as you, Cognac. I'll pip you as well. You've reacted. Uh, everybody else is kind of done. So, yeah, I think we're back at the start. So, I say we in, we stop here and we pick it up from this point next time, which I think is a, a valid thing given the time. And we'll do our wrap up. Absolutely. So, so let me move us back to oh, our okay. title screen. And what are we calling this? I think Grease Lightning is currently the front runner, but if anybody's got anything else that's come up, like Lightning Grease, <laughs> anything better? I mean, that was technically the order. I, I, so. I, I like Grease Lightning because uh, we had yeah. Lightning and we had Grease. Nothing's going to be that. Yeah, so uh, Grease Lightning works. Yeah. yeah. I'll just dump this in. There we go. Blop, blop. <laughs> Grease Lightning. <laughs> As when you Grease light the light bulb because it's coming in, <laughs> in Greece. Uh, right, so we've got greased lightning, or yeah, greased or grease? Did you just want grease? Grease, singular. Grease. Hmm. Okay, grease lightning. Cool. Is the word the word? What are we looking like for goals, people? So. Current... so Let's review. The one I scrapped. 
let's just go down the order, shall we? Adair, we've got Learn yeah. to Sail from Thea. I think you know you need somebody else to teach you how to sail. I think that is... Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I'm lost. Yeah, I think I mean, the I'm best thing to do would be maybe Learn to Sail, just delete from Thea. And it's maybe still yeah. valid. Um, Actually, more at valid. this point, because we're back on land, I would skip the sail part and go straight to navigate to stars. I... Navigate from the stars, because that was the second part I wanted to do. Yeah, sure. Yeah, let's do that then. Yep, add that in. Cool. That's yeah. good. Um, right. Alvin, we've got keep the party on the path to Runestad. Right? Well, I mean, so far, so good. So far. Right? So good, yeah. Mm. I mean... Technically, you fail that as soon as you leave Runestad, but that's fine. Yep. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's why it's a badly worded goal. And then we've got Cognac. Catch at least a barrel load of fish. Um, I mean, yeah. I, I, I was going to say, I'm going to say you got this because you definitely caught enough fish to feed people for a month. I didn't have a barrel at once because everyone was eating it. Mm -hmm. But yeah. no, I would say that's completed, right? So that is one goal complete, right? Mm. So everybody uh. want to add three hundred to your XP. Okay. Everyone. Yes. No, just me. Go. No. Well, um, sorry, I have to uh. reopen roll twenty because it was. Yay! Couple digits. Quadruple digits. Oh my god. Everyone <laughs> <laughs> Double digits! So, so far, 300 XP has been awarded, right? So far. I thought... Can I just clarify where we do that? It's on our character sheet. On the character sheet, yep. Up right. And it's mm -hmm. at the top. Uh, of yes, your... so we make sure so you're we in the should be at 1,200. Yeah. With me, I'm just waiting on my computer. This is what we're adding, yes. This is awarded XP, not total. XP, Scott. This is just the stuff we're doing for this session, right? Yeah. So, yeah. But we're not finished gold yet, so people might have to edit this a couple of times, depending on how this goes. Oh, good shot. Flea bite. Well, um, I'm getting... <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'd like to keep it as a goal, because I, yeah. I still would. I like I it because it's, I, it's, I... it's a build on what you liked from the last time as well, which I like. So I think it is something that could definitely be quite funny, especially if you get to Runestad and have some time there if it's indeed safe. <laughs> you could have a bit of fun there. Or you could even just do the Legolas Gimli wager of, okay, cool, flea bite, kill, kill. Many more than a deer. <laughs> right? So. Blue elf thing. <laughs> Windy blue elf thing. Um, yeah, cool. Lauda. So I don't think I got the repair relationship with the. Uh, it's still anywhere. ongoing though, right? Like it's like yeah. I think the reason why you didn't get it is because you were sucking up to her, right? Which yeah. it might have worked if she hadn't worked it out. Um, yeah. but it's not to say it has it isn't on its That's way to ongoing. being repaired, right? Um, yeah. the person who can say that is Thea. Thea, do you want to tell us if sucking up to you is the right way, or is there a different hmm. tactic? I wonder. I think maybe a different tactic may be mm -hmm. a better option. That's yeah. enough. But, uh, that's that's I think I think it's thought. definitely nope. like that's enough. It's definitely just shows like the the right like it, it's definitely an option. That, you know, you got to work through your options. You know, man. Yes. Yeah. Shunnel. Yeah, I think not Shunner. not trying to lie to her about what you actually think is maybe a good start, but it might have worked had she not worked it out, right? It yeah. might have worked, um, but yeah, that's why it's kind of on Callum to to manage that one for you, unfortunately. Yeah. Can I also ask a question? Yeah, uh, you did, but you can ask a second. No. Because there's this goal that I had that I put on hold because I didn't expect it was going to ever happen whilst we were on this journey. That okay. was find out the identity of who saved us from the initial invasion. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we have bumped into this guy, and he is fighting to defend a child, which very likely to change my mind. That's just assuming that the, the tokens aren't just generic, right? True. So, I mean, if you feel that's True. relevant, you could move it up. Okay. But I don't think you were in a position to actually spend time to say, can I roll to see if this is the same guy? Yeah, no, not this time. Yeah. But at any point, like, during the fight next time, if you want to do that, yeah, you can do so. Sure. But if you want to switch those out, do that now, yeah. That's why we talk about them at the end. 
Obviously put your Theo one on hold for a bit. <laughs> so... I'll just let you do that just now. And Thea! Hello! Get the party transport back to Little Bellinor once her business is done in Runestad. Um, I guess, uh, depending how next session goes... Oh, why, what, why is this? Oh. Why, why is this? Yeah, why, why is this? You've spelled Bellinor wrong again, but that's fine. I didn't change it. It's got an E at the end. Yeah, it's still wrong. From though. the first, I didn't change it from the first time I felt it wrong. <laughs> Um <laughs> God, it's so bad. <laughs> um yeah, uh I mean like for now that's I think that's that's fine, depending on if we actually get to Runestad or not. Um that is, that so is debatable think, currently, uh, uh, yeah. If, yeah, if if next week it depends how next week goes, um it might get swapped out, but for now I think it's fine. Sure, yeah. Oh good, okay. I'll leave that as so get the party back to Little Bill and her once her business in Runestad is done. Or thereabouts. Cool. Any other changes to make goal wise? I think we're good there, right? Yep, all good. Good, good. good. Uh, bonds, anything appropriate come up, MD? More scouting mm. with flea bite. I would say that mine with uh, cognac came up. Yeah, definitely. So two seconds, let's do this in order then. So uh, Lauda, while she works with Flea Bite, gather information about invasion discreetly. Um, I mean, yes and no. It maybe needs updated a bit, just these work well together. It's not specific to the invasion, right? Yeah. I guess, even though the grander quest you're on is, so it is kind of relevant. But you could update it a little bit to be slightly more vague now, because it is just becoming your kind of MO. Yeah. Um, but yeah, cool. Uh, Jonna, if you don't have inspiration, feel free to pip it. I already have it. Cool. Well, it would have been awarded. So, who who else? Who else we had there? I'd say mine got completed there. It was not so much completed, just adhered to, right? Mm -hmm. So, having you with Cognac, was it? Mm -hmm. I wish to repay him. Uh, I've done that by yeah, like you can have a d yeah. inspiration if you don't have it pipped already. Got it already, but I'm just nice it's fine. Got it doesn't. Down. It's fine. Um, keep in mind, bonds can exist until you feel they're totally resolved. So yeah, if you feel that's covered, cool, perfect. Uh, anybody else feel like anything else has come up bond-wise? Nope. Uh, mine came up via his, but not. I don't think it achieved anything. It was just like it came up by proxy. Uh, his um. fanatical inventing is crazy. Uh, sorry, it's kind of scary, but helping him this past year has made Cognac fond of him. Yeah, that's just, again, from its wording, it's going to be ongoing, right, until something happens to adjust that. Um, does that make sense? Because at no point did I see URP any fondness for him during that. Makes sense? There was no, like, scenes where you used to sat on the boat together and chatted or whatever. Nobody brought up anything, like, during yeah. camps or cool. But still valid, yeah, because it does make sense that you'd like him. He got you a glittery shield. Mm. Mm-hmm. I use that as a nightlight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is that why you're now up at 20 as well? Which is discussing or has it not been factored in yet? Should you be mm -hmm. one higher? Should your AC be one higher? Three, um... No, I moved the... Cool. I was 17 and then the shield gives me two and then I put an extra one on. Cool, perfect, good. Level 20 AC at level three is nuts. <laughs> Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yep. Didn't help me today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it did. Probably. What about um, anybody else? Any other bonds? Uh, I just added to mine with uh, Lauda, which I just said. I just added to the end um, and takes joy in making a mocker of me through snarky sarcasm. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, I like it. Yep. Not what I meant. I'm gonna add in. I don't care what you meant. I know. It's funny. <laughs> uh, cool. If that's everybody done for bonds. Mm -hmm. All good. I uh, think so. Mm -hmm. Okay, Bang. in that case. <laughs> okay, carry on. Yep. What if you got flea bite? With whom? Yeah, just updated it. Okay. I like how. Is it just because you don't know what Thea is? Or are, is it. Alexander that thinks she's an elf. 
<laughs> no, that, um, flea bite thing, so she's an elf. Well, okay, because she is just a human for, like, looks like every other human, other than wears masks. Don't know if that would change your opinion on that, but... Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Pale non-elf thing, bad boat driver? Like... <laughs> Aha, uh -huh, there we go. <laughs> do you want to do it in Fleabite's voice for the group? I am kill my thing, my boat driver, yes, yes. <laughs> That's Rubal Mithia. Okay. Sad. Yeah. It's okay though, because then I'll I'm, I'm now looking at the goals page, and all this shade thrown at <laughs> the is sailing is. I mean, to be fair, right, like, between us, Callum, you were never actually the captain of a ship. You just wear on boats a lot, so like fair play. Oh yeah, right? but they don't know that. No, correct, right? We know now. Also, I want to scroll. I want to scroll <laughs> up to last session's rolls. Just, to, just. To. Um, right. So, yeah, but realistically, in the game, that was them working under your direction, right? That's why. It just yeah. Anyway, uh, wrap up chat time, guys. Uh, do you want to just start from the top, and we'll work our way down to the terrible boat thing? So. Uh, wow. A deer. Um, yeah, so um, I learned something that me and my parties have been doing wrong for a long time. Um, so that was good. Um, but yeah, uh, it's a nice wee comfortable sesh where, you know, mm -hmm. not too much happened. It was just, it was comfortable. I and mean, yeah, a month did pass, that. right? So, yeah. Technically, but I still haven't learned to sail because the person I chose as a teacher... <laughs> This garbage. <laughs> well, I don't want garbage to say it, but yeah. Unfair. But yet not inaccurate. Really? Because you, you like failed several times there. I mean, Twice. I have learned nothing. We're finally here. We haven't left yet. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> my, my sailing techniques have lacking. I mean, I can't sail. On the plus side, all hoping. I used went to the right boat first time and Flea Bite didn't, so... Like, there is that saving grace, that small saving grace. True. Flea Bite is the only one that went to the right boat. The entire world is convinced that it's wrong. <laughs> and they're all wrong. <laughs> uh, why Even the people that own the boat. That should have been Flea Bite's call. <laughs> Get back to the right boat. <laughs> 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 um... Yes. Not the right party. Anything else you want to add there, or are we good there, dear? Um, nope, I'm pretty good. Nice. Alvin? Um, yeah, I like that I'm getting to finally test out all these new things in combat. So many things you've done already as an artificer, like so many moves, which is kind of cool. Yeah. You're actually like, you're going through your entire character sheet, it seems, which is good. Yeah, pretty much. And it's like, because it was like, oh, I help secure the boat. I'm like, yeah, I can use this thing. Um, I was going to, I was also kind of queuing up that if we were to do like RP on the boat, I was going to help um, Lyuda with fishing. Um, and how I was going to do that is I was going to use uh, is it just the infusite, no, um, the magic tink magical tinkering, and then make the uh, bait that he was using stink extra smelly of fish food or something and then hopefully that would increase his catching sure yeah <laughs> but yeah no nah, um there's a lot of stuff to its kit so it's fun to yeah. try and just work my way through it definitely it was nice to see a lot more of um tink's abilities to be honest especially the nice moment where you're like cool you did me a solid so here here you go your shield sparkles now it also mm. means it's better but it does sparkle <laughs> that was quite nice for you and cognac now you can spend uh, underwater time together. Oh my god, <laughs> yes. We can build a house under the sea. Yes. <laughs> totally good. Under the sea. Oh, it's going to be so gloriously bad, isn't it? You're both going to die in a construction accident under the water. Um, that I probably caused. Probably. It'll be great. Well, it will just be me dying whilst I'm researching He's portals to the surface. Me. Yep. <laughs> oh dear. Anything else you want to add, Elvin? Uh nope, I'm all good. Cognac, what a nice segue into you. Um I wasn't expecting to get a plus one to my shield, but 
it was a very nice addition. Mm -hmm. um, my character didn't trust that it wasn't going to explode, which is why I wasn't it's entirely still grateful. <laughs> yeah. But me as a character, very much, as a, as a player, very much appreciates it. It was good fun. Imagine Captain um, America, you're exploding shield into the enemies. Man, that's cool. <laughs> if only it was plus two AC. <laughs> I wouldn't have gotten hit. <laughs> no, you'd have still been hit. <laughs> uh, 20, and then uh, twenty-one would have met your AC at that point. It's still a hit. Sorry, buddy. Need to be plus three for it to not to hit. I'll just have three shields. Just, just yeah, just B shields. Yeah. And you dual wield shields, actually. Uh, there is a discussion about that, to be honest, and you can, in my opinion, well, because it takes two you... hands, right? So yeah, yeah. you can literally you just like be. Shielding. And then just shield bash or something. I mean, they do it in Unforgotten Realms, so why not? Yeah, no, like, by, also just by the part where I just said you can, so we skip all the needing to work out if you can or not. Because I <laughs> said we could. Because <laughs> that's awesome, Yay. right? Why wouldn't you want to do that? I am Shield Man. Yeah. <laughs> that may be a future option for Cognac. Yeah, because we I mean, see. Cause you could walk forward and then still zap people every now and then with your yeah. lightning. And I can just take all the attention, and then, oh, like, I, I still have claws, right? Which I think I can use. Uh, no, not if you're wielding shields. Oh, damn it. Uh, your shell counts as a third shield. Uh, it definitely <laughs> already does, but you'll be called Shell Shock from that point on, just so you should know. Um, <laughs> with your superhero name. <laughs> just 100%, yeah. Um, but yeah, the, his shell is why he starts at AC 17, by the way. Um so it's crazy yeah. good. Um, you just can't really benefit from armor because of it. But shields don't count as armor, and if you're wearing one in each hand, that's a plus two in each. Or a plus three from one of them, at least, for your magic one. I'm very happy yeah, to have caught all my fish. Mm -hmm. What yeah. I wanted to do, if we were going to roleplay the boat, was I wanted to tie myself to the front of the boat, carrying a fishing rod, and go underwater. <laughs> And then fish. So is I'm there? Like, are you using two rods for this? Where one's the pulley for you, and the other <laughs> one is. Yeah, that's why you bought five I'm rods. I'm gonna hold my breath for fifty minutes and then use the other ten to pull myself back up yeah. the rope. So I kind of heard it as he's keel hauling himself, uh -huh. which is an interesting take. So he's actually just tied to a rope, being dragged by the boat, and he's just got his mouth open. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I got this. to myself. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I have to admit, like I just didn't want the entire session to be on the boat, which it would have been, quite frankly. I am um, hence why I was <laughs> wanting to skip a lot of that stuff because montaging is the future of like transit and roleplay. So yeah. Um, anything else you want to add, Godnick? Uh I just don't want to die next week. That's all. Uh, then just don't. Then, <laughs> like, just pull into your shell. Stay there. <laughs> Doesn't your AC go up crazily? Like, wait, you can do oh, that. Yeah, yeah. 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 it can... goes up by like three yeah. or four. Yeah, you can just pull into your shell. Yeah. What? He's a turtle. <laughs> Why would you? <laughs> yeah, but I can't do anything. Shield, you can know. survive though, right? Potentially, there was a few crypts cool. there which were like twenty-four, I think. No. Can he use a shield cool. in the shell? What? Sorry. Can he use a shield in the I'm shell? Pretty sure he can't do anything when he's in the shell. Yeah, so he only gains like one AC. Yeah. He is the shell. Yeah. It's still good. Uh, flea bite. Um, yes, that was quite fun. Uh, I liked us going off sort of scouting and just <laughs> not being very good at it. <laughs> Um, on the plus side, though, the second lot of scouting, the first lot was god awful, um, but luckily there was nothing to find, right? Um, yeah, and it was much further in that the problems were, and you just did really well at your scouting at that point, which was handy. Otherwise, they would have heard you as approach and got the drop on you guys, so mm. that was useful. So you you did good, to be honest, both the scout team, um, which was handy. So well, it might have seemed terrible. It wasn't as bad as it might have seemed. Because <laughs> um, you, you did get actions of doing stuff up trees and getting the the group all their weapons and the economy and whatnot out. So, yeah, mm -hmm. and the fucking spider tank that you have with you, um, <laughs> yeah. just crazy. Um, 
Anything else you want to add, Felipe? Well, no, I think I'm I'm looking forward to all the and I'm just bad. Like, I'm, I'm, Felipe's just really happy he's got something that he can make fun of um, the F4. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see uh, Fleabite and Theo's uh, interactions going forward after this, then. <laughs> I'll definitely try and uh, like, uh, win a bet with... Uh, <laughs> try and just try and goad there into, into something stupid. <laughs> I mean, give... Uh, give I'm up for that. Yeah, I was going to say, given the plans with a uh, rope, elephants, and levitation that are on his mind, yeah, hundred percent can see that being possible, <laughs> right? Um, I'm excited to see that. Second outside the box, guys. Hundred <laughs> percent. I think as well. Like, if you given maybe um, like Ewan a bit of a heads up on that one beforehand, Gregory, he might have been able mm-hmm. to like sync up with you. But it is just about the. It- just came to me. I know. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes that's the worst. Yeah. With no pre thought. Yeah. But it's exactly what you want to do with stuff like levity because it's such a fun spell for that reason. Um, it's like, quick guys, mm. drag me this way. It's, I can. <laughs> yeah, it's the. I know that levitate gets me up, but then I can't move. I can bounce off objects if someone's like nearby. In a yeah. Cave. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I'm like, you know what? I've got rope. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna use that. So I'm like a kite. But, it's definitely like when you want yeah. to just like run through like obviously levitate for you only works on you but like it's the if you run at like a river and then cast levitate as you jump mm-hmm. like the momentum would carry yeah. you over and right then I keep so going mm-hmm. yeah so what, that's uh, why I'm just thinking use like cognac or lida they're well no uh, not lida anymore because you've got very weak strength uh, but cognac <laughs> um you know lo- wow, harsh. zoom me round and round I'd be sick <laughs> <laughs> but you know you could last zoom me in a way. And- <laughs> it's if like, I had a hand throw me free, off in a direction. Fine. Yeah, like again, like free hand, you would have been fine. It was just the trunk wasn't strong enough for you. Mm. That was all. Yeah. Um, it was just because yeah, he had true. literally set himself up to be shield and spell enchanted, like, like quarter staff. The, his shiliag, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, anything else you want to add there? Uh, flea bite at all? I think we just like we jumped about a bit, didn't we? So, I think flea bite. You happy as is? Nope. Yeah. Cool. Pretty happy. Lauda. I really like uh, saying Lauda. Yeah. I'm not going to lie, it's a really fun word to say. <laughs> I like the name. Mm. It's good. It's, it's fun. Um, yeah, druids are interesting. Yeah. And a lot of fun to play. <laughs> um, <laughs> Scott can tell you that, right? What was the druid? How good are druids? Remember that uh, plant growth spell? Yeah. Oh my god, do not. I still have anxiety about that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, carry on. Uh, yeah, I think I... <laughs> I don't know. I was a bit confused when we initially went onto that map and didn't really know where to go or where the party mm. was, so I ended up in the corner up a cliff. Mm-hmm. But so it was a bit further away than I'd kinda of hoped to be, but uh it kinda worked in my yeah, own way okay, yeah. role yeah. playing there. Mm-hmm. As well. Look, nice for uh, like, I, mean, look, I joined you up there, so yeah, yeah, I was gonna say it's nice for a dare to like sneak up there and go Loud old boy. Hello <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't help but notice you up here. So yes, I being, I'd join you. being an elephant in this Hello. abandoned part of the world where these things that aren't native to our universe. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's bad that I've got some spells that are like sixty to ninety feet yeah. in range. Otherwise, I'd have done nothing. It's also good. Like, in, like entangle, such a good spell. It really uh, is. Um, yeah. Uh, when but, it hits. <laughs> yeah, but like you got three out of five, right? Which yeah. is good. Um, yeah. Wasn't bad. Mm-hmm. Considering that you so, yeah, you did um, um, your totem as well, which was crazy. Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting into actually <laughs> doing some damage, maybe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Be good. Um, I was very impressed with your skills at just using roll twenty and managing <laughs> to get all of these effects down and all sorts of crap. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so last week I've been having a look at roll twenty and like how you do it via GM, GM's point of view, and it's confusing as fuck. Yeah, so, uh, you see my first attempts at it? Uh, lots of swearing, lots of screaming. Um, There's yeah. sometimes still a lot of that, especially when you guys have a week to tell me all the stuff I need to add in for you. So keep in mind that if you need other stuff added in, you just need to give me notice so I can help 
you make your characters work on mm. Roll20 because it's a fucking nightmare, especially during the session. It's also why I used to spend ages going over stuff with people as a thing in the session, but I feel like that's at the expense of other players' time. So I've, I've just decided to stop yeah. doing that, and I'm just mm. skipping people's turns now because you've seen how often it takes to just do Lyra's turn when most of it was efficient and working. Because um, mm. sometimes people have a lot of stuff to do on a turn, like gum up f- like three people, for example, in a fight, which is great. Um, <laughs> but that was fun. Yeah, it's not making every day cost four times movement like the other druid, because plant growth is a nightmare. <laughs> um, but yes, sorry, anything else you want to add to Lyra? Um, not really, I guess. Oh. Just sort of looking forward to getting in there a bit more. <laughs> yep. Right, I will give myself inspiration for all my Rule20 work, thank you. Um, oh, Christ. <laughs> Why do I compliment Because, <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. it's, it's still nice to know that people see the work. Um, Thea. Hello. Hello. Um, I basically missed all of whatever Ewan said because my computer went funky again and I couldn't hear. So Just listen back to it, it's fine. Yes. Uh, but, yeah, I, I, do you know what? Um, I really enjoyed all the failed rolls <laughs> I did um, I, I kind of like the, the idea that you know maybe like for like for the first week or so everything went super smoothly with mm-hmm. the whole sailing thing mm-hmm. um, you know Theo was probably pretty on it and very like, efficient and then maybe a week, week and a half passes and uh, decides she's taking the helm and her instructions get a bit more vague as she kind of just explores the sea part mm-hmm. <laughs> um, and then arrives at land and super chuffed um, and then you know I, I kind of I also really like the fact that her, like, her spells weren't working mm-hmm. uh, during the fight which because you know once once you know things got a little quote unquote heated um, after you know the rest of the month went by um, I think that kind of just helped kind of show like the, the difference in her mindset over those periods of time. <laughs> it's the great exactly. axe that makes exactly. me think of Thea, to be honest. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> um but yeah, uh, I I I loved I I just love Tink's bag of mischievous doom. Um <laughs> It's only it's gonna just... get better. <laughs> so good. It's gonna get and so much worse. Cannon. Oh, it's so good. Um, like, and it's like... mm-hmm. no, 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 carry on, carry on. I was gonna say, in hindsight, fucking artificer man. There is so much reading through this. Mm-hmm. It's good though. It's a good class. I'm really enjoying having an artificer in the group. To be honest, as much as it might not seem that way, admin wise. But, uh, Ad- no, like mm-hmm. it's such a fun class, but admin wise, it is a bastard. Mm-hmm. This is why we use the week between games to fix it. I couldn't be more subtle. <laughs> help me, help you. I mean, we're coming to get you. <laughs> yeah, I think I've got the bug started out for the Elgar's Cannon, so I'll just get you to check that one. I know where we can deal with that during the week. Uh, see ya. <laughs> um. Yeah, it was nice to kind of see everyone sort of like using abilities and stuff, like like using their mechanical characters a wee bit, and um, just kind of seeing what people can do is always interesting. Or not seeing flea bite, as the case usually is. Or not seeing flea bite. Um, <laughs> hmm. um, I'm really interested to see what flea bite and like Thea's um, relationship will be. Hmm. Um, because I think I think it's he's, he's still a very elusive to to Thea in in most regards. So it'll be really easy, it'll be really easy, really interesting. I like the fact that yeah. there's, there's an element of if you guys were like normal people in this world, Flea Bite would be so weird to you. But Flea Bite's just like one of you guys because every one of you is unique or weird in the world. So I like that angle because it's maybe why flea bite fits in. Um, yeah. yeah, just kind of cool. Uh, anything else you'd like to add? Yeah. 
Uh, I think everything else is pretty much covered. Um, I think I would have loved to have seen the, the, the to levitate. <laughs> yeah, the kite um, maneuver. Yeah, the kite maneuver. Yeah. But um, I guess Alas, I guess next it was time. Not to be not this time. Not yet. Uh, but yeah, you guys soon. Know, sort of have an insight to what I can do, but I was saving that for a good moment. I thought that was a good moment, but mm -hmm. hey, we'll see what happens. Yeah, hundred percent. Can't wait for that. Um, especially if um, you have to throw the rope to somebody and they have to wait till their turn to catch you and you just drift off like <laughs> that's going to be 50 feet of potential fun um, let's just hope there's no high wind because that's yeah. the only way I see that happen <laughs> <laughs> or get yourself some wind spells eventually right try and get into that Yeah. be the wind <laughs> mm. I caught I'm all my fish the wind. the wind is with me you caught all your I fish I caught all my fish and got my Oh, does that mean I get my inspiration back? No. Why would it? Because I was inspired. We got XP for that. And you got your inspiration back when you got your, when you finished the goal. Yeah, but we're kind of doing that for no, bonds now. Bond. We're doing that for bonds oh, okay. now. Goals are just XP. If you want to scrap bonds, we can just do goals and that. But I think the bonds are kind of fun. Um, I like bonds. Yeah. I like them. So. Yeah, we can look at that ongoing though. If people don't like them as we're going, we can, we can ditch them because they are just a work in progress. As you can see, a lot of this is. But yeah. it does work, I think, for stuff that you... Like covering the amount of roleplay that we have covered. We've mm. covered years of roleplay in this game already. Um, mm. So yeah. But anyway, um, guys, that was really fun for me as well. Uh, loads of hectic admin stuff on this side, so we can only make that better. I would apologise, but mostly it's all your faults, so I don't really feel bad about it. <laughs> so, <it's, laughs> um, beyond that, though, it was super fun. Um, I know I sound great to you a lot of the time when I'm complaining about admin stuff, but it is just because I always feel bad that it's using other people's time that are simpler characters. Um, so, again, any help you can give me, even if it's just a Facebook message to say, I have this, this, and this move, is that already built in or whatever? Um, so I can do a lot of the work on my side when I have time to do it and not five minutes before the goddamn session because I do run three games maybe four soon so we'll deal with that as and when anyway, I, again, thanks everybody for playing and goodbye until next time bye bye, bye. 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 bye.